welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back to Defining Glamour. I really hope you guys are doing very well today. Today's video is going to be a crush and a crush video for you guys and today's video is going to be on a drugstore palette. Um, for the first time ever, I am actually doing a crush and a crush video on a drugstore palette which is the Maybelline palette. It's called the 24 Kit Nudes uh, palette. I was actually shopping with my best friend and went through the makeup section at Shopper Drug Smart and then that's where I saw this and um, I really wanted to try it out because I had an amazing experience with the first palette that Maybelline came out with. This is their first neutrals palette as well. Um, so with the packaging and the name, the 24 karat and the colors that were within the packaging really attracted me to go ahead and grab this palette. So you guys are going to see my reviews and opinions and if I would recommend these product or not to you guys. So if you guys want to hear all the good stuff about this Maybelline 24 karat nudes palette then please continue to watch this video. This is how the packaging looks like. Again it's called the 24 karat nudes palette. Um, infused with a very golden smoky eye type shades in this. I am actually wearing this um, palette on my eyes today and you will definitely see uh, a mini like makeup tutorial on this um, right after my mini review. Uh, the price varies where, depending on where you live on this because the original price of this came out to be around $19.99 for about $20 to $24. I got mine on clearance for $15 for $14.99 Canadian and again I do buy a lot of my drugstore palettes from a Walmart or either Shoppers Drug Smart. The packaging is really beautiful. The size of the palette is again the same as the Nudes palette. Uh, the first Nudes palette that it came out with. The only difference is this one is a black case and then this one is a golden case to it. On the back of the palette, it has the standard um, instructions of how you can achieve some really various, you know, uh, looks with it, and then it just talks about the product in general. Um, it tells you that you can actually create up to 13 looks with one palette. You can combine the shades, you can use them, you know, single shades on its own. But this one has 12 eyeshadows in this, so if I go ahead and kind of like put it out like this. Um, so the top row right there has more of your golden brown shades and then the bottom one has more purpley, smoky, you know, reddish, um, black as well as this creamy white eye eyeshadow in there as well. This um, palette does co have a combination of both matte as well as shimmer shades in them. Now I'll be really honest with you guys with the reviews on this palette. Some of the colors worked out amazing on me. The other colors were super patchy. One thing that I did notice is um, that I really don't understand why it happens in an eyeshadow palette is the pigmentation. Pigmentation for one of the eyeshadows um, is better than the other. And I really don't understand that about companies that, you know, if you're making rows of, um, you know, shadows, why is the formula not the same in every single shadow? I mean, why is it so different? So the pigmentation on some of these eyeshadows is amazing. Some of the eyeshadows are very patchy, not very pigmented. Uh, the ones that are really nice is the one that's popping that goes by the name of the palette itself and so that's the gold one right there. Ones that are super patchy and are actually the, the lighter shades in this, the darker shades are a little better. Um, so this white shimmery shade right over here is just really really hard to get onto your brush. Whereas when I was using this palette, this one has such a gorgeous white eyeshadow. I used so much of this one right over here comparatively this one right there. So this one has a bit of, um, this one is more of a pearly white undertone eyeshadow for underneath the brow bone for a highlight and then this one is a more has a more of a pink undertone to it. You don't see it in camera very well but if you have this palette then you will definitely agree with me. You are getting a lot more um, transition shades in this palette as opposed to the 24 karat gold palette. Um, I'll go ahead and put them out like this. So both of these palettes have very different colors. This one has more taupe you know, warm browns, this one has more golden, a little bit of pink purples, but a lot of shimmers and less transition colors in this one thing. Um, you do need some sort of a base to before you apply these because if you are working with the lighter shades in this palette, then do expect 
to have patience and to build on the color. The shimmer shades are not very glittery, they're not very sparkly. The matte shades are, are beautiful as well. I just wish that they were not so patchy and they were a little bit more pigmented. I highly recommend if you really want to get this palette and you have patience to build on to the pigmentation of this palette, then definitely grab some sort of a a base as well as a primer. This palette is first of all not for anybody who is a neutral everyday person because of the kind of um, you know eyeshadows that you're getting in this palette. The pigmentation will definitely show on this once you have some sort of a base. If you don't have a base or if you don't have a really good eyeshadow primer then don't get this palette because it's not for you. Would I recommend this palette? Would I call it a crush or a crash? I will unfortunately call it a crash on my end, um, but with that being said, it's not the worst palette that Maybelline came out with and it's not the best palette that they came out with. They, the look that I went for is definitely not an everyday look and a lot of you guys probably won't be doing this, um, but this look has been inspired by the uh, original model uh, from Maybelline's website. I'll go ahead and show you guys the picture right now. So this eye look is actually right here. is inspired by the model that's on Maybelline's website and the reason why I did that is because I really wanted to see you know if the if you apply the eyeshadows the way the model did if that's exactly how it's gonna pop up in real life. Um, you have to work a little harder. It took me a good 35 minutes to um, get this eye look alone, um, but it's definitely possible. Those are my mini reviews on this palette. I will go ahead and let you guys see how I got this crazy eye makeup on going on there. So I first applied my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer on the lids and blended it out with my fingers. And then I applied my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and blended it out with my fingers again. Next, I used this shade from the palette, which is this beige matte eyeshadow, and applied it as a base all over the lids, as well as to set the, um, the eyeshadow base as well. And I just used a small shader brush by Urban Decay for this. Next, I used this medium brown eyeshadow, and using a small fluffy brush, applied it on my crease. This brush is a double-ended brush, brush, so it is again by Urban Decay. And I just kept blending the eyeshadow out until it looked soft on the crease. Next, I used this brown reddish shadow from the palette and applied it on the lids with a small concealer brush. This color was probably one of the worst of all the eyeshadows in this palette because I went back about 8-9 to nine times with my brush to get a decent amount of pigmentation on my lids. But when I was happy with the lid color, uh, I moved on. So I went ahead and used a taper blending brush by Sigma and took that matte black eyeshadow and applied it on the outer corner of the eyes kind of like making a V shape along the tape. Then I used a small detail brush and used this gold eyeshadow and applied it on the crease where the brown eyeshadow was applied. But instead of starting from the outer crease, I added the golden shadow on the inner side of the eye and brought the shadow halfway through the eyes. Um, I also went back to the lid color which is this reddish brown eyeshadow and the black eyeshadow to make them look a little blended and to soften up the edges a little bit. Then lastly I applied some mascara and false lashes and used the golden eyeshadow on the lower lash line as well and I did I went ahead and tight line my eyes with the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow pencil in black as well and um, that completes this little mini eye look So I've given 
telling you guys my experiences with this palette. I've uh, let you guys know the facts about it as well. You guys now let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would invest in, if it's a crush or a crush for you guys. As well as please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed drugstore makeup tutorials. And lastly, please uh, subscribe to my channel down below if you have not subscribed to my channel yet. As well as hit that notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos as well. And um, please go ahead and share this video with your friends and family to let them know about the Maybelline 24 Carat Nudes palette. That would be amazing. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys in my next video very, very soon. You guys have a great week. Be safe. Take care, guys.